that God taught me um, at Fly was to be available and be willing to um, be ready uh, to act on what he wants um, us to do. And then also just that um, powerful reminder of just resting in him. Something God taught me was that I am his workmanship. Um, the speaker on, I think it was Thursday night, he used the word poema and that really resonated with me a lot. And I just love the verse Ephesians 2.10. It's like we are God's workmanship and like we are designed for a purpose. God taught me that love without truth is nothing and truth without love is also nothing. Something I learned from Fly was that God is in us and we are his workmanship. You're not born anything, it's, got, it's who God says you are. This isn't really something God taught me, but just like over and over again, like hearing like, oh, we have purpose and that God doesn't make junk and we have purpose. Like every speaker said that at some point. He taught me so many things, but to sum it up, I would say just to trust his plan and let him do what he wants to do in your life and just love and forgive everyone. One thing that really stood out to me is that how alone we are broken, but through Jesus we can be restored. Something I learned at Fly was just realizing how often we forget God in our mundane daily activities in different ways that we can apply like in our thinking process every day to just remember Him in our like daily mundane things. What I learned this week is that your relationship with God doesn't necessarily mean raising your hands in worship or feeling that spiritual high all the time, but it can mean just trusting Him and um, knowing that He's there and relying on Him. You cannot speak to people like unbelievers or um, just people like in general without truth and love both. Like you can't just speak truth at them, but you can't just speak out in love. It has to be a combination of both. Restored. I really enjoyed the evening sessions. We learned that we could be restored in Christ through salvation. We could be restored in our identity to Christ and we could even be restored in our hope, and mostly we could be restored in our purpose for Him. Uh, something I learned is that change is not the absence of sin and temptation, but is the willingness to work towards fleeing these things. I need to be consistent with God, consistently worshiping Him, not just when I'm feeling down or when I'm feeling bad, I feel like I need Him, but when I'm feeling really good and it seems like I don't need Him either. He needs me worshiping at all times. One thing I learned was the importance of what we put our identity in and how we identify ourselves. Something God taught me is that we live in constant sin and we need constant repentance. And to quote Ben Fuller, our evening singer, no one has a pass in their back pocket saying that you're gonna wake up the next morning. And then something God has taught me at Fly was that he's working even when you can't see it and you don't have to be doing something big or flashy for God to use you. Um, something God taught me was that even when something bad is going on in your life, he is working to restore your freedom as he did for Joseph. Something that God taught me was that, um, well, that he just loves me and that he'll, like, he knows what I'm going through and like he'll never stop loving me no matter what I do. Um, he taught me that like it is the most important thing to put him first in my life and to not have any distractions or anything above him. I learned that there's no like worse sin than another sin and like you should always love the person even if like what they're doing is wrong and don't try and condemn them. Something that I learned from Fly this time was when the pastor talked about being mended, God mends us and makes us new, but we're not made perfect. And until we get to heaven, we won't be. So it's okay to still have vulnerable patches and to know that we're always going to need God's help. Something God taught me was that God's unconditional love isn't the same as his unconditional approval. Uh, something I learned from Fly from Dr. Christopher Yuhan is that Unconditional love is not the same as unconditional approval, and I thought that was a really good message to hear. And another one I also learned from Dr. Yuhan was, the gospel isn't against anyone, it's for everyone. And I thought that was amazing. And then from Jason Holt, I learned all biblical truth um, can be communicated through my personality, and we all have different personalities, so it's not all communicated the same. Like it can be, it can be individualized through your personality. 
And then the last thing was from Chrissy. And she said, don't look ahead for when God can use you. He can use you right now. One thing God taught me is that he should bring me ultimate contentment. One lyric that we sang that kind of sums it up is, Turn your eyes upon Jesus, and the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Something that I learned from Fly is that God called us to be the best student we can be, and that we, can, that we have to love one another, uh, even through little things to make their days better. And so like what God really taught me was that, that everyone sins, and that if you're living out a sin, that, does, that doesn't define you, who, it, who, like, who you are. And God looks past that. And when you, have, when you accept Jesus, that God looks past your sin and he's looking at you. And so yeah, that just everyone's a sinner and that our identity, identity should be in Christ. Um, just like what my purpose was, like just being a student at school. One thing that I learned was from Dr. Yuan was about biblical sexuality. And it's not just lifting up heterosexuality as the end all be all and like the good thing. It was more about being single and chaste or married and faithful. Mm -hmm.